Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 11th, 2022. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Jamaron Connor, Nicola Revels, and Ashante Weltmeyer. I hope you all have great birthdays today. For lunch today, we'll have chicken tenders, sweet peas, applesauce, dino bites, and milk. For breakfast tomorrow, we'll have strawberry cream cheese mini bagel, <laughs> strawberry cream cheese mini bagels, raisins, ruby red juice, and milk. Don't forget, yearbooks are due by the end of the month. If you want to order your yearbook, you can go online and order one for the 2021-2022 school year. If you need information on how to order those, stop by the office or see Mrs. Felker. We have new members of our AR Point Club. In the 25 Point Club, we welcome Charles Addis, Nash Anders, Colin Brooks, Camden Larson, Alec Morrison, and Apollo Valdivia. In the 50 Point Club, we have Abigail Padilla Nunez and Giovanni Santana. In the 75 Point Club, we have Adeline Bloomberg, Jackson Patterson, and Olivia Ramos. And in the 100 Point Club, we want to welcome Esmeraldo Razo. Congratulations to everyone and keep reading. On Tuesday, the Morris Classic Bowl team took on Elwood at home. <clears throat> in the JV matchup, the Braves and Tigers kept it close in the first half as Larry Farmer, Nolan Raymer, and Natalie Fithian combined for four toss-ups to Elwood's three. Some solid bonus round responses gave Morris a slight lead, 80-50. to 50. In the second half, Farmer and Raymer combined for five more toss-ups, limiting the Tigers to a mere 35 points. In the end, the JV walked away with their eighth straight win, 175-85. to 85. Elwood kept it interesting against the Braves in the varsity matchup as the first half was a heated back-and-forth duel. Xander Brown contributed three toss-ups, and teammate Ethan Morrison chipped in with two of his own to match Elwood's five toss-ups. Superior bonus round play kept the Braves in the lead, ending the first half 130-95. to An early scare from Elwood in the second half closed the gap for the Tigers, but the rest of the match was all Morris. As Brown added four more toss-ups and the Braves helped by toss-ups from Jay Skelf and Ava Evans, in the end, the varsity squad earned their own eighth straight victory, 265 to 175. Next Tuesday, the Braves take on conference rival Manuka in a highly anticipated matchup. Go Braves! And I want to take a moment. <clears throat> we had uh, some sad news. Our you know, we talk about how great our community is, and but there are also a lot of great communities around us. Even though we're rivals and we play them on the field, you know, we have a lot of community friends in Manuka and Shanahan. And this morning, I want to focus on our friends in Coal City. Miss Dr. Bug is the superintendent of Coal City Schools, and his daughter Megan has had a long time courageous battle with cancer. And last night, she passed away and Megan Bug was a tremendous, awesome person. Uh, Megan, even while she was fighting the disease herself, she cared about other people and she did a lot to raise a lot of money and awareness so that research could be done to help find a cure, not just for herself, but for other kids who were battling the same disease. And so uh, we're very sad in this morning at Col the, the community of Cole City and their loss of Megan. So what I'd like us to do is to remember that even though we can be rivals, you know, that we still support each other. So I would ask that you all join me tomorrow in wearing green and gold to show support for our friends in Coal City as they go through this difficult time. Well, that's all the announcements we have for today. But let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great Thursday, everybody.